If you can't picture yourself doing something, it's just not going to get done. Whether it's sports or football or, or uh, business, if you don't see yourself hoisting that trophy or making that interception, making that play when it's you know, time to be made, um, it's, it's just not going to happen. Okay, but there are some people who would say, I don't want to jinx it and get ahead of myself, right? Like, I don't want to visualize the success because I haven't gotten it yet. And I'm afraid it's going to throw me off my game if I get too far ahead in the process. What would you say to that? Oh, there's no such thing as getting too far. You got to dream. You got to dream to actually, you know, achieve that dream. And then when you dream, that, that's setting goals. And with those goals come milestones. And each one, you just keep knocking down a milestone. And you keep going, you keep getting better. So I, um, you know, I'm not going to say they're wrong in saying you know, that approach. I'm sure it's worked for plenty of people. But for me, if I can't dream and I can't see you know, into the future, um, it's just not going to happen. And then with that, that is when in business, um, you're going to have to find the ability to pivot, you know, to turn you know, and make decisions that make sense for your business. So what kind of things did you visualize as a player? I mean, was it just hoisting a trophy? Was it just making a, a tackle? How do you know when you have done that part of it correctly? Uh, everything. You just continue to build, uh, whether it's a meeting that you want to go well, you know, because in, in, in every part of the day, there's different facets that you have to sharpen your, your tools, your weapons. Um, so listening. If you're not there present in that meeting, there are – you know, details you're going to miss that is going to lead to somebody else's success or your detriment. Um, and so, you know, just little things like that, you can take you can take a stack and, um, you know, you find yourself, you know, winning most of the days and just, just keep doing, keep stacking those days. So how do you know when you have visualized enough? Because I know as a player, you also told me that it was, you know, where are the locker rooms? Where's the scoreboard? How does the field look? So that nothing was a surprise when you walked onto the field how do you know if you've got the right level of visualization? Uh, well, everyone's different, uh, but you, you want to go up there and you want to have confidence. And I think that's where when you start to feel confident in those meetings, whether you're leading them or listening to them and, you know, you're asking the right questions, when you get that confidence, it's, it's seamless. And, um, you know, it's, it's developing those good habits because I'm sure anytime you step into a room and have to lead a conference, you know, that's very you know, intimidating for, for most people. And if you don't, if you don't even know what the, the room looks like, it literally is the first time you've been there. And um, so in your mind, if you can visualize delivering that message, you know, on key, how you wanted to, when you wanted to, in rhythm, um, the rest falls into place. And it just becomes, you know, one of your you know, good habits.